Hello, everybody, and welcome to the CTSC webinar for August 30th, 2017. I'm your host, Jeanette dopp -Heide. CTSC is the NSF Cybersecurity Center of Excellence, and these webinars are part of its mission to deliver high-quality, actionable guidance regarding cybersecurity to the NSF community. More information about CTSC can be found at trustedci.org. Today's topic is a, a CCOE overview uh, with CTSC's Vaughn Welch. Before we begin, I have a few items to note. First, this presentation is being recorded. Second, participants are welcome to ask questions during the session using the chat box in the Adobe Connect window. And we accept uh, questions at the end uh, of this presentation as well. And uh, let me uh, restate that I misspoke. Uh, the, uh, the topic today is the, is the CCOE engagement overview which is very important that I stress that because we want to engage with the community and we want to hear questions from those of you who are attending this session. Um, so with that, I will hand the microphone over to Vaughn. Vaughn, welcome. Thank you, Jeanette. Uh, can everyone hear me? Great. Thanks. Uh, so first, let me pause before I get into the presentation and give a big thanks to Jeanette, who makes uh, the logistics around these webinars uh, just go so smoothly and easily for that. So thank you, Jeanette. We really appreciate that. So as Jeanette mentioned, what I'm going to be talking about today is the uh, CTSC engagement process. So this, this webinar is really meant for those of you out in the community uh, served by CTSC who are thinking about putting in an engagement application uh, or are wondering what an engagement is or wondering if you, you know, should put in an engagement application. And I'm going to try to give enough of an overview of the process and its goals uh, to provide you guidance in terms of that. As Jeanette mentioned, would really like this to be uh, an interactive session. So please uh, feel free to type something in the, in the chat box, and both Jeanette and I will, will look for that and try to answer questions as we go along. So first, just a, a little bit about CTSC to, to frame the, the discussion here. As the NSF Cybersecurity Center of Excellence, CTSC's mission is to help the NSF com science community with cybersecurity challenges, and particular addressing those challenges in order to be more fruitful in the production uh, of NSF science. So as we go through here, uh, I'll use the term cybersecurity, but you should think of that as being, you know, sort of traditional cybersecurity challenges, but you know, really anything in in that general scope. If you think about privacy, if you think about identity management. Kind of anything in that in that genre is in scope here uh, for CTSC. You know, particularly if it's if it's impacting uh, the project's ability to do uh, science. And you know, if in doubt, my suggestion is is please ask. So this is our mission. Um, I always like just throw up a, a photo of the team here um, because. We're a, we're a distributed group. I'm sitting here at Indiana University. Jeanette is over in across the border in Illinois at NCSA. We also have uh, colleagues in Pittsburgh and then up in, in Madison, Wisconsin. And for those of you who've done an engagement, if you do an engagement, you may engage with uh, one of these particular uh, groups from us or even a, a team made up uh, of individuals from different uh, different organizations, depending upon the exact nature of the skills that are involved in your engagement and other things we may have going on. Part of the reason for this, this distribution is to bring together uh, a set of heterogeneous skills uh, that, that help, the, help the community out. And so just a little bit more, the, the engagements, we have a, a three-pronged vision here. Uh, most of the, the engagements uh, would sort of fall into the well, they could fall into all three. Large facilities are particularly number uh, three. But really what our, our goal is here is, is that first bullet, which is what we really want to do is, is help fully understand the role of cybersecurity in producing trustworthy science for projects. 
And we've got a number of different thrusts here, uh, just to sort of broadly cover what we do. I think many of you, you're obviously already aware of the webinars uh, that we do. And we'll have links for these further down. But I just want you to be aware that engagements are only one aspect of what we do. It's the bottom uh, block here in this slide. Uh, but we also have an awful, uh, a fair amount of best practices on our website. And also, in addition to these webinars, do a fair amount of community building with the blog, email list, social media, and so forth. And so I encourage you, if you're not familiar with CTSC, uh, to check out all the information. The URL is at the bottom there, trustedci.org, and look around for, for other facets that we do. All right, so turning now to the, the meat of this particular uh, subject. So first, why is cybersecurity important to your NSF science project? And the big driver around this is, is the science that you, you do. Uh, you need to get the science done. It needs to be trusted and ideally reproducible. And cybersecurity can play impacts in that in many ways. It can be everything from uh, a way to hold off annoying distractions in terms of everyday uh, cybersecurity incidents and malware and so forth, to everything up to doing you know, very customized specific risks uh, to your science, your particular scientific instruments or data sets or whatnot. So you can imagine a whole spectrum of things that, that may need to be addressed uh, to really enable your project to focus on it, its science mission. Engagements is our, our deep way of doing that. Uh, we use the term, it's a, it's a focused collaboration uh, with one or sometimes a small group of, N, of NSF projects to tackle that project's specific challenges around cybersecurity, identity management, access control, privacy, or whatnot. So it's, if you've got a challenge in this area, it's, it's open to be uh, submitted to us. A uh, few examples here we'll have more later. You know, we did security plannings for CCNIE projects. Uh, we did cybersecurity uh, policies um, for for uh, science programs in in general, and we also did uh, do um, for software development projects. We will do analysis of new features, uh, source code assurance, and things along those that nature. So as I said, any challenge is in scope. We've even done uh, privacy policy work. And we've helped projects search for a new chief security officer. So it don't necessarily have to be uh, technical projects. And we've, um, we've got some particular links up there for different ones. And we, and we have, through our collaboration with the Science Gateway Institute, uh, tailor-made uh, help for those projects standing up uh, science. Uh, science gateways. Uh, another view of the, the projects that we've done here on the, on the map, as you can see, we've got a pretty good uh, geographic distribution uh, of the projects uh, going all the way down uh, to the, the Antarctic uh, with the US, U.S. Antarctic program uh, work. So this is something that you know, we can do uh, remotely. And we will often include uh, a site visit to come out and visit you uh, as part of an engagement at some point during the process uh, to really help uh, move things uh, along in terms of both developing you know, plans and then helping uh, with you know, uh, buy off from your management. So our engagement window, we do two engagement uh, windows per year where we accept applications uh, from the community, and they're at the URL here on this slide, which is trustedci.org uh, slash application. Uh, it, the window is, is open now and will be open uh, through October 2nd to apply for an engagement during the first six months of, of 2018. Uh, to stay up to date with our agent and gap, our engagement application windows, we really recommend you subscribe to our announce email lists. And there's a link at the bottom of this slide to, to subscribe to those, those email lists and stay up to date with, with what we're doing. So when we get your engagement in, and if you go to that, 
link, you'll see there's a, a web form where we'll, we'll ask you some, some questions. What we found is really three criteria that we will use to, to balance uh, your, your application and judge it. The first is the need uh, for NSF science. Can you articulate to us how this challenge that you're bringing forward to us uh, impacts ultimately the NSF science, your project, the NSF community? So we, our goal is, is to, as I go back to our mission, is to improve trustworthiness and reproducibility of NSF science. We do that by helping your project with its cybersecurity, and so we want to make sure that, that our work is going to have impact in that space. Uh, a second criteria that we use is broader impact. And do you believe that your challenge is uh, beneficial to other communities or organizations or projects that could benefit from it directly or indirectly? Given the limited number of engagements that we do, we're always looking to address challenges that may be shared by multiple projects or benefit others indirectly. So if you have a, a broader impact uh, argument to make around your, your challenge, please do put that forward. And finally, application commitment. Uh, this one is a little different. The first two we can be a little bit flexible on. You know, we have tackled some, some challenges that weren't for an NSF project directly. Uh, we have tackled some challenges that didn't have a broader impact directly. So, you know, so there's flexible criteria. But one thing we really do insist upon is applicant commitment. So you must be willing, you know, assert to us that you're willing to work with us on the engagement and have uh, the resulting resources and wherewithal to see through the engagement process. We are not going to come in and fix your problem uh, for you. There's no sort of silver uh, pixie dust that we can come sprinkle and everything's great. Uh, our engagements are really a collaborative. We think them as being roughly sort of 50-50. We don't know your project. We don't know your science. You have to bring that to the table. We bring the cy cybersecurity expertise, acumen, and experience to the table. And then we work collaboratively uh, to develop and, and tackle your challenge, provide advice and guidance. And then often then it really does become, you know, your project is going to have to see that through uh, its implementation. So that's a key thing to us is knowing that you've got that commitment, both in terms of people, time to participate, but also the, the managerial buy-in uh, from your project that this is a challenge and then once solved, it's something that's going to be something that's important enough through your project to carry forward. Um, some caveats uh, based on experience. So things to avoid. Uh, timing uh, tends to be a big diff uh, uh, challenge in project life cycle. We don't commit to do engagements to projects until they have been funded. Uh, we are often approached by projects that are writing a proposal and would like to say that, that we're going to help them. And the engagement process is not how we, we do that. A um, number of challenges around that. Uh, you know, it's hard for us to gauge you know, science impact at that point without getting into pre-competitive, -com proprietary, and then if we have multiple people approach us in the same solicitation, uh, we've just discovered that that is too hard. Uh, what we will, we are willing to do is if you approach us, we, we can actually very reasonably be included as a subcontract on projects. We have a number of cybersecurity analysts, and we can, we can contract out small portions of people's time and have that discussion and then be, be a commitment with your proposal to go forward. And we have examples. Uh, essentially, that is what we did with the Science Gateway Community Institute. And we also have that relationship in place now with the IMPACT project being led by uh, the uh, RENC at, at North Carolina. On the other end of the life cycle spectrum, is your award going to be ending soon? So if you're in the last year of the award and we do an engagement, uh, is it going to have any time for us to have IMPACT together? Um, so this is a, a, a key challenge in that. So it can't be too late in your award cycle either. Uh, you know, usually we're looking for people sort of on the front half of their of their grant lifetime, where they're either in development or approaching development, or maybe they've just gone operational and realized that they have have some sort of a problem. Tend to be the the sweet spot 
uh, for engagement to work in. Lastly, as I mentioned before, we do expect these engagements to be collaborative. So will you have staff available to, to work with us on this so there can't be other big urgent fires uh, that you're fighting? And this can often be a challenge in the, in the development of a project. If you're really pressing up against a hard deadline and you're not really going to have time to work with us, this isn't a good time for you and you to engage with us unless you really make it a priority. So that's something else to consider. Uh, so things to include. Uh, please talk about other partners. I talked some about broader uh, impact earlier, and this would certainly fall into this. But one of the things that we like to see is if you have a good working relationship with, say, a campus uh, information security office or something like that, and they want to participate in your engagement. We really like seeing something like that, because that means when we're done with the engagement, not only is your project uh, better understanding its cybersecurity challenge, but your campus also gets uh, something additional out of the process. And they walk away with a better understanding of, of supporting NSF science. So if you have other partners willing to come to, with you to your engagement, we definitely uh, see that as a plus. Uh, as I mentioned before, how positively impact uh, NSF science is, is a really critical thing. So I repeat that here to please do include that. And then finally, a key point which may impact some of you more than others is why is CTSC's help critical? Uh, we often see this from applicants who may, who appear at least on the, from the outside to have access to well-staffed cybersecurity teams, or you, you would think that they would have uh, the particular expertise uh, in-house to tackle a particular challenge. So please don't assume that it's going to be obvious to us that your cybersecurity staff may be completely overcommitted or don't have expertise in the particular technology that you need, or are, or you may have some internal, uh, let me call it social political challenge to doing engagement with a particular team. You know, for example, you may have a strong information security office, but they don't know anything about supporting uh, research. So please think about you know, those perception issues from our point of view and, and talk about those in your application if, if that looks like it would be useful to us. Uh, so repeating the, the important dates, our current application deadline is going to close on October 2nd in a little bit more than a month. We will have uh, decisions announced uh, a month after that on November 1st and then plan to kick off those engagements in January. And they nominally last uh, a half year, though some may be less than that, uh, just depending upon the nature of the engagement. Uh, please don't feel you can't apply unless you think you have a half year at work. We're more than happy to do shorter engagements in there, and we can even serialize multiple shorter engagements if, if people apply for those. So uh, a shorter one may uh, increase your, your likelihood of, of us being able to engage with you because we can interlace it with, with other engagements. Uh, I do just want to mention that um, you know, while you're waiting for the engagements to come about or if you want to um, tackle challenges on your own, we do have a number of guides and tools on our website related to cybersecurity and identity management that projects have actually picked up and used independently. So it's not necessary to engage with us to get significant benefit from, from our project. Uh, we've had several projects, LSST, the um, uh, IRNC project here and others who have picked up uh, our guides and developed cybersecurity programs uh, on their own uh, or with minimal help and questioning from uh, questions from us. Uh, just another thing to stay in contact with us, I'll list these, these up here. Uh, I mentioned the announce email list earlier. You're familiar with this webinar. This is an example of which we're watching now. Normally, these are on our, our regular schedule on Mondays uh, from the community and include uh, sci cybersecurity challenges and advances that may be of interest to you. Uh, and then we have a blog and social media that we disseminate on, a uh, Twitter address being listed there. And finally, I mentioned we have an a email list, ask at trustedci.org. Uh, as the saying goes, no question is too small uh, to answer. And you're more than happy to send uh, any small question you have there, questions about the engagement process, questions about cybersecurity, 
or you know, general ask for advice, or even you know, if you're looking to make contact with somebody at some other organization, we have a pretty large social network that we can help things out with. So with that, I, if, uh, oh, if I just may interrupt real quickly, I just took your yeah. your uh, links, Vaughn, and I put them in this little view for the people watching right now, so that they could click on it or uh, copy and paste uh, to look at later. Great, thank you, Jeanette. So with that, I will thank everybody uh, for their attention and open the floor to, to any questions. And uh, if people are going to ask any questions, I'll, let, I'll just let them type along and um, just cover a, a couple more things that we should mention. Um, as Vaughn pointed out, this is the webinar series uh, to view more presentations, uh, to join our Discuss mailing list, or submit requests to present, uh, please contact us at uh, trustedci.org slash webinar, webinars, excuse me. And um, one more brief thing to mention um, is the next webinar is September 25th at 11 a.m. Eastern, and the topic is Threat Intelligence Sharing with uh, Roman Romaine Wartel. And it looks like we've got a person typing. So, um, Vaughn, I, while, while we're waiting, I just wanted to thank you for uh, working with me to do this presentation. I know that I was the one who asked for it, so I appreciate you following through and helping me do this. <laughs> You're quite welcome, Jen. I think this was a, a good idea to get this out there and, um, and, and help people understand the engagement process uh, a little bit more. As I mentioned, uh, there was—I think it was on one of the slides earlier. We've gotten a good number of of requests now, and in the last couple rounds of engagement applications, there's actually been more requests than we've been able to satisfy. So it's um, to our advantage and the community's advantage to help them understand that that process and provide the uh, guidance on, on making the best possible application at this point. Right. And um, just to mention one more time that if scope, timeline, or any other reason kind of keeps your organization from not being able to engage with CTSC directly, we have many resources. And uh, just reaching out to us with some questions, we could probably uh, point you in the right direction in terms of the different guides and, and um, documents that we have posted to our site. So we've got a question here from Jenny. Um, how does the security posture change from an open science project for a classified science one? Does CTSC have experience with this? So Jenny, I'm guessing uh, you're using classified here in the, in the context of, of DOE labs, perhaps? Yes. Yeah. So uh, the the short answer, Jenny, is um, CTSC deals primarily with open science. Uh, that will get into some of the the compliance realm. So we do have uh, staff that are familiar with, for example, HIPAA and FISMA and the um, 800-171, the the classified, but. Uh, so CI, CUI, which I'm, I'm blinking on the acronym uh, right now, which are, are categories that a lot of the higher education institutes and hence science projects do bump up against. Uh, we do not have any experience uh, with UE classified uh, science in terms of uh, clearances at, at that level, to, to be quite frank with you. So that's not something we would be able to, to help a project with. It's not something that tends to be in scope for a lot of, uh, a lot of NSF projects, uh, but can be of, of more help on the, the compliance uh, side of things. Okay, great. Um, does anyone else have any other questions? Oh, looks 
like we've got somebody. OK, great. Thank you, Patrick. Um, well, Vaughn, do you have any uh, last minute comments that you'd like to make? I, I'll just say uh, keep the October 2nd uh, deadline in mind. And don't, don't hesitate to drop us uh, an email at the ask email list if you have questions about the engagement process or just looking for advice or wondering how well something uh, fits into the scope of our criteria. We're, we're quite happy to, to chat about things uh, beforehand to, to help you decide if it's appropriate, and if so, to, to make your application as, as strong as, as possible. Yes, I very much agree. And um, OK, it looks like. We are done with our question portion, so I just want to thank everybody for attending this webinar, and thank you, Vaughn, for presenting today.